Let's talk about Jalen Hurts' pocket presence. That's one of the biggest areas that he needs to improve this season. How did he fare against the Lions? Let me show you five different plays. The first play here, we're going to see pressure coming off of the edge. Now you're going to see off of a play fake, Boston Scott's going to come out and he's going to meet that pressure. And how does Jalen Hurts respond? Well, he see he's he has to step up in the pocket because Jordan Mailata is beat on the outside and so he steps up and he starts to roll out. He's got to run now. Now, people might point out Dallas Goddard is wide open, but I think it's important to point out that Jalen Hurts doesn't get the Madden camera where he can seize the whole field as soon as he's flush from the pocket. To the left, Dallas Goddard's not a possibility anymore. There's just no way to read that. And so we have to look at the guys that he can get eyes on. And so we've got a receiver downfield that's in the middle of three defenders, and then we've got a receiver that's close underneath. You could say maybe he should hit this receiver underneath, but that's a hard throw. He's moving the opposite direction, and Hertz can pick up yardage with his feet. And so I look at that play, and I see a good process from Jalen Hurts. The second one, we're going to see a three-man rush. The Lions are going to drop eight into coverage, and Lane Johnson is going to be beat inside right here. And so Hertz feels that pressure, and he has to get out of the pocket. Now, watch him as he gets out of the pocket. He's directing traffic. His eyes are downfield, and he's going to make a throw to Devonta Smith. Here it is again. His eyes are downfield. He's directing traffic, and he makes a throw that hits Devonta Smith in the hands. This should be caught for a first down. I think this is a good op- a good example of Hertz' opportunity uh, to feel pressure in the pocket to keep his eyes downfield as he flushes out and to extend plays. Let's look at a third play here. Now the Lions are going to bring five on pressure, and as as you watch this play unfold, he starts to feel pressure and he's going to slide out of the pocket to the left. I want you to watch as he starts to slide. First of all, there's nobody really open here. Um, you know, we could make an argument that this guy is coming open, uh, perhaps, but there's a safety over the top. And so as he starts to go, watch that that little shuffle there. Her- Hertz doesn't want to run the ball. He hops twice here, sliding in the pocket, waiting for something to get open. Ultimately, nothing does, and so he tucks and he runs. Here it is from the end zone angle. You see as he steps up, he's looking downfield, and now he decides, I've got to run. There's just simply not anything open on this play. Now let's look at the fourth play. On this fourth play, on this fourth play, you're going to see Jalen Hurts bail from a clean pocket. This is what people have been concerned about with Hurts. This is, this is a clean pocket. You don't get a, a better pocket than this. He is under no pressure. Now the problem is, look at his receivers. They are blanketed in coverage. Nobody's even remotely close to open on this play. And so you're going to see Hertz commit the cardinal sin, the thing people get upset about. He's going to bail from a clean pocket, but there's nobody open. And so he's going to bail, yes, from a clean pocket, but he gains three yards, where a non-mobile quarterback is simply going to have to try to get out of the pocket and throw this ball away. And so, yes, Jalen Hertz bails from a clean pocket, Nobody's open. He turns a nothing play into three yards. Now, let's look at a play where I think Jalen Hurts makes a mistake. And this is late in the game. This is a third down. The Lions show seven blitzers here. There's there's seven blitzers on the line. Now, all game, the Lions have been simulating pressure, having guys drop back into zones. They've been overloading. They've been doing different things. That's not what they're going to do on this play. The Eagles have six men in the protection. The running back is going to step up to block. So it is seven blitzers against seven potential blitzers against six rushers. And at the snap, we can clearly see everybody's coming. Now, Hertz, Hertz knows this before the snap. He knows he only has six in the protection. He needs to know that if there's seven guys coming, he has to get the ball out hot. He has to hit his hot read. Well, his hot read should be A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown runs a slant route over the middle of the field. Everybody else is just sort of clearing out. This is wide open. So we see where we see where he's heading. Look at this open field right here. As Hertz hits his back foot, this is a throw that he can make, and I would argue a throw that he should make. And instead, his instinct is to run the ball. If we back it up, as he hits his back foot, he can set right now, and he can deliver this ball to A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown's got blockers in front of him, and he's only got to get to the 32-yard line. Maybe he gets there, maybe he doesn't, but that is the process you would like to see. Instead, Hertz does what he's done his whole career. His thought process is not find the hot read. His thought process is, I've got six blockers, seven rushers. I just have to make one guy miss. And he makes the guy miss. He actually puts him on the ground with a nifty move. 
but ultimately he's only going to get out to the 19 yard line. Now, AJ Brown might not pick up the first down, but AJ Brown's already at the 19 yard line. So AJ Brown could catch the ball right here where Hertz ends up with blockers out in front and an opportunity to pick up the first down. This is an area of growth that I want to see for Jalen Hurts. We'll see the back angle here again. This is just a nifty move. He puts the guy on the ground, but ultimately it costs the Eagles the chance to pick up a first down. His whole career, Jalen Hurts has been able to make guys miss, and that's great. And you don't want to strip the athleticism out of his game. I just showed plays where his athleticism was a great boost to the offense. But in these situations, you would love to see him hit his back foot of his drop and get the ball out to a hot read. He knows the blitz is coming before the snap. He knows it's coming. Just get the ball out. That's a big area of potential growth for Jalen Hurts moving forward. 